For today's video, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers, Sir Henry. And the question goes like this. Solve for the real value of x that satisfies this equation. x raised to the power of x equals 3 raised to the power of 18. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so our goal is to solve for the real value of x that satisfies this equation x raised to the power of x equals 3 raised to 18. Now, to answer this question, what we're going to do is take note that this 18 must be equal to 2 times 9. Now, let's use some laws of exponent. If we have b raised to the power of a times c, this can be written as b raised to the power of a raised to the power of c. So, the right-hand side of our equation, 3 raised to the power of 2 times 9, can be written as 3 squared raised to the power of 9. Now, take note, 3 squared or 3 raised to the power of 2, this is just 9. And the right-hand side of our equation can be written as 9 raised to the power of 9. Therefore, we can say that x equals 9. But the question is, is this the only solution to this equation? So now, to answer this question, let's focus on our function y equals x raised to the power of x. Now, the graph of this function, y equals x to the power of x, is looks something like this. Now, looking at this graph, take note, from 0 up to the bottom point, the graph or the function is decreasing. But after this point, all the way to positive infinity, the graph is strictly increasing. Now, the question is, what is this point or the bottom point? So, what we're going to do is to use some calculus to get that specific point. Now, to do that, let's get the derivative first of our function y equals x raised to the power of x. Now, to do that, let's take the natural log on both sides. So, we have ln of y equals ln of x raised to the power of x. Now, the right-hand side of our equation ln of x raised to the power of x can be written as x multiplied by ln of x. Now, we are now ready to get the derivative of both sides. Now, if we take the derivative of natural log of y, we have something like y prime over y equals, then we use product rule in this x multiplied by ln of x. So, we have x multiplied by the derivative of ln of x, we have 1 over x, plus ln of x, then multiplied by the derivative of x, which is 1. Now, if we simplify this, this x cancel out, so this is just 1, plus ln x times 1 is simply equal to ln x. So, we have 1 plus ln x. Next, to simplify this, let's multiply both sides by y. So we have y prime equals y multiplied by 1 plus ln x. Now take note that y must be equal to x raised to the power of x. So our derivative, y prime must be equal to x raised to the power of x multiplied by 1 plus ln of x. That is the derivative of this function, y equals x raised to the power of x. Now, to get that point, the minimum point, what we're going to do is to let y prime or the slope be equal to 0. So now, we have something like 0 equals x raised to the power of x multiplied by 1 plus ln of x. Now, we know x raised to the power of x cannot be equal to 0. So, the only factor that will make this equation 0 is when 1 plus ln x must be equal to 0. Now, let's solve for the value of x. First, let's subtract 1 on both sides. And then take note that the base here is e. So, x must be equal to e raised to the power of negative 1. Now, e raised to the power of negative 1 can be written as 1 over e. Therefore, the minimum point must occur when x must be equal to 1 over e. So, now let's substitute 1 over e to our function. We have x raised to the power of x. So we have something like 1 over e raised to the power of 1 over e, which is approximately equal to 0 0.69. Therefore, this point right here must be equal to 1 over e, comma 
0 0.69. All right. So our function from this point greater than 0 up to 0 0.69, the function is decreasing, while from 0 0.69 up to positive infinity, the function is strictly increasing. Now, take note that our equation a while ago is x raised to x equals to 9 raised to the power of 9. Now, 9 raised to the power of 9 is a big number, a huge number. Therefore, we can say when we have a horizontal line like this on that point, we can say that we only have one intersection, so we get only one solution. Now, if we have a constant that ranges from this point, 0 0.69, up to number that is less than 1, then we can say that we have two possible solutions because if we draw a horizontal line like this, we have two points on this graph. But again, our given is 9 raised to the power of 9. It's a huge number. So we can say that we have only one solution to our given equation. Therefore, given this equation, x raised to the power of x equals 9 raised to the power of 9, we can say that we only have one value of x, which is x equals 9. Therefore, our answer to this question, what is the real value of x that satisfies this equation, x raised to the power of x equals 3 raised to 18, then our answer is x equals 9. And as always, we are done.